think about the consequences of uh, not just the single mother home, just uh, you know divorces and single parent homes uh, in general. Okay, think about uh, the rising cost of living. Think about uh, the shortage uh, in the housing market. Everything in this world is connected. Do not be fooled by the obvious. If I ask you guys uh, this, what do you see on the screen right now? You're gonna say that, uh, okay, you see uh, five fingers and you see the palm of my hand, right? Well, that's what you see, see? But uh, from my perspective, okay, I see four knuckles. I don't see the palm of my hand. Do not be fooled by the obvious. So let's think about uh, why the elites and the government, they want to keep everybody separated. Why do they want to push uh, feminism and the telling women that uh, they don't need men, okay? Well, think about this, okay? Let's say back in 1960, I would say probably 80% of men were probably married by the age of 24, and 80% of women was married by the age of 22. Most women way, way, way back in the day, before third wave feminism, they were probably a mother of three at the age of 26. Now in 2024, okay, most modern women at the age of 26 has a body count of anywhere between 20 to 50, and the most are still going through their whole face before they become a born again virgin at the age of 30, and that's when they actually try to settle down and look for a man. Unfortunately, too many women realize this too late. Think about this, okay, when you split a one single nuclear family into two, everything becomes more expensive. It's pretty obvious, right? So for example, let's say uh, right now I live in Ottawa, the capital of Canada. Right now, if you want to rent a one bedroom apartment, usually you're looking at minimum 2000 Canadian dollars. That's roughly $1,500 US per month, okay? That is going to be extremely difficult for a person earning one income. However, if you have a couple that's willing to share the burden, that's willing to go 50-50. By the way, guys, okay? If you can find a girl out there in 2024, that's okay with splitting the bills 50-50. At least at the start of your relationship, then that is a 100% green flag. You need to look for a future with this woman. That's the woman you want to marry. That is the woman that you want to be the mother of your children, okay? So let's say, you know, $2,000 Canadian a month. If you split it between two people, $1,000 a month, that's not too bad. That's manageable. But for one person, it's extremely difficult, right? This is why it's important to have a family union. However, let's say if uh, this couple, instead of uh, living together, if they were separated, now they're living in uh, two separate households, okay? Maybe you don't need a one bedroom. But uh, at a minimum, you will need something like a studio apartment. Right now in Ottawa, this will cost you minimum $1,600 Canadian, okay? So think about it, if this couple broke up or if they got a divorce, so instead of sharing a one-bedroom apartment, they each rent a studio apartment. So their rent just went from a combined of $2,000 Canadian a month to now $3,200 Canadian a month because that is two studio apartments required multiplied by two. So for uh, both of these individuals, their rent payment literally just went up by 60% in one month because of their divorce or breakup. You see where I'm going, right? Now let's rewind the time back again to 1960. 80 to 90% of young men and young women are married and uh, they're living together under one household. Obviously, everything would be cheaper. This is a simple equation of supply and demand. When you have uh, four or five people all living under one roof, there's a lesser demand for housing. This means uh, cheaper housing and the uh, cheaper rental prices. However, look at our society in 2024. Over 60% of men between the ages of 18 to 30 in the United States are single. That means that the vast majority of young women are single as well. And when you split uh, all the young couples apart, when everybody has to live in separate households, okay, the demand for housing doubles, okay? It is that simple. What happens when the demand for housing doubles and that there's not enough uh, supply of housing? That means the price of houses will double. That means your mortgage payments will double. That means that uh, your rent will double. Because when people can't afford to buy homes, okay, they simply have to rent. And this raises the rental prices. Is, and it's not just your rent going up by 60%. Think about it. When you have two people living together, okay, now you separate them. Okay, now you need to pay a separate bill for your internet. Now you need to pay a separate bill for your water. Now you need to pay separate uh, parking fees. Now you, you need to pay a separate uh, fees uh, for your electricity. All of that has doubled literally overnight because a couple has been split up. And uh, to all the people who are, you know, complaining about the, the environment, all of these uh, woke climate protesters, Think about it, okay, when you have everybody living uh, under one roof, they all put the, the food on the same table, you're saving so much money on food, and there's going to be so much less uh, food wasted, because usually when you have two, three, four people all living together, whatever you put on the table, everything gets finished, and almost nothing in your fridge or the freezer gets thrown out. Everything makes more sense when everybody is living under one roof, it's that simple. And uh, this is why single parent households uh, will lead to generational poverty, 
because when you file for a divorce and uh, think about this divorces are extremely expensive okay i don't have an exact percentage of how many divorces in china or the united states are contested versus how many are uncontested it's not so bad okay if you're at a point where you just can't get along however if you can reach a agreement on how to split the financial assets that is considered to be a uncontested divorce so in that case it might not cost very much it could be a thousand or two thousand dollars Look up the cost of a contested divorce, okay? This can bankrupt both sides. This is how my mom actually went bankrupt. At one point, remember I talked about my mom was a millionaire CEO, okay? This is where things get extremely expensive. And in a contested divorce, you can't just go to the family court by yourself. You had to hire a divorce lawyer. And think about the fees you had to pay to the courts and to your attorney. This is a government scam, and this is a scam by the law firm. It's designed to bankrupt both sides of the family, okay? It simply does not make any sense. It will leave you with nothing but debt and bankruptcy okay that is a guarantee and uh also uh, people keep bringing up this topic and uh, the fact that i keep saying ladies and uh, all these men are saying that uh, no woman actually watches my videos well that is actually not true so roughly a 15 percent of my audience is women so there are women who regularly watches my videos i have uh, this message for you this is a fact okay so 70 to 80 percent of divorces worldwide are initiated by women okay that is a 100 percent fact you cannot argue with that. And uh, for relationships, it's much higher, okay? It's roughly 80 to 90% of the time. So most of the time, it's not the men who are leaving their marriages or relationships. It's the woman, okay? And uh, sometimes you get way too emotional. Sometimes I understand that you can get frustrated with your man, your relationship, or your marriage. But uh, whatever you're going through, you have to really, really think about the consequences of you leaving your relationship or marriage. I understand, you know, sometimes uh, guys do stupid things. Sometimes a guy can be an asshole, okay? Maybe he did some things to piss you off. But uh, just remember this. Just because you're angry at him, it does not mean that uh, you stopped loving him, okay? because i was mad at you not because i stopped loving you you have to really really think about the consequences of your actions you have really really got to give your marriage and your relationship another chance remember that ladies and uh, obviously there are situations uh, you know where you, uh, you did something stupid and uh, you made your man angry and uh, i understand that you know everybody makes mistakes nobody in this world is perfect a person that has not made any mistakes in their life, okay, that person has never ever achieved anything. Uh, and unless they take accountability for their mistakes, okay, they will never ever be able to, to learn lessons or be able to uh, move forward in life. Ladies, it's very simple, okay? For example, if you did something stupid in your relationship and you know it's 100% your fault, okay? That uh, you pissed off your man. Now you're stuck in a tough place in your relationship. Okay? Just think of it like this, okay? It's very, very easy for your man to forgive you. Okay, think about it. You pissed off your man, right? Now he's all crumpled up, okay? Look at this water bottle, right? See, this your man's extremely pissed off. But uh, however, look at this, okay? See? Now the bottle is back. Okay, 100% to its uh, original position. Now the bottle is happy, it's filled, it's full of air. Do you know what I'm trying to say, ladies? A blowjob fixes everything. It's that simple for a woman to get a man to forgive you. Thank you guys uh, so much uh, for following along uh, in this uh, series. And uh, for the remainder of the month, I will cover a few more videos uh, on China. Before I move into uh, election 2024 mode, starting in the month of August, I will kick off election 2024 with a full-length documentary on the severe consequences uh, of secularism. Thank you guys so much for following my channel all the way up until uh, this point. And uh, I will see you guys on Wednesday.